Hello everyone. So this is the second episode that we are working on this our action RPG project with the gameplay ability system. Now last time we worked on this system where with the player will pick up a sword when we go to that uh, sword location so when we already have a sword it doesn't pick up pick up another sword and today we are going to work on equip part so when i press one player equip the sword like this so at the moment it doesn't go into a different animation plane space for the sword equipped state because i only going to focus on gameplay ability to equip the sword so here if I press 1 again, nothing happens because we have already equipped the sword. And here also, if I press 1 now, nothing happens because at this time, since we haven't picked up any cord, any sword, uh, no ability is given to the character that allows character to equip a sword. Only when player pick up a sword the ability to equip the sword is given to the character now i can equip it so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and we will be implementing this game play ability equip sword ga equip sword and game play effect equip sword which ge equip sword which takes care of the tag changes that apply to the character to prevent further trying to equip in the swords and stuff so yeah let's see how to do these things today and this episode uh, before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel to the date there are 1800 videos for each video you can access the project file from the patron page once you become a member without any limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so this is what we have worked on so far we can go to these sorts and pick them up and yeah that's basically all we have worked on the next step is uh, implementing a way to equip this sword using gameplay ability system okay so first thing is I'm gonna create a new gameplay ability I'll call it gameplay ab I'll select this gameplay ability as the base and call it GA equip sword now let me open this so here we let's do a commit ability and check if this passes if yes we can equip the sword but uh, what are the conditions so actually here we can put this activation required tag as let's see weapon sword so that we know the character does have a sword only then we should be able to equip the sword otherwise we can't because we don't have a sword all right and then let's get a reference to the actor get avatar actor from actor info so now we have to do a part where we play an animation to equip the sword and we need to attach the sword to the hand of the character so i think it's better to do that part inside the character blueprint because for each character the animation could be different the weapons could be different so i do it inside the character so let me open my character blueprint and this character blueprint does implement this ppi weapons so 
I I think I should rename this interface instead of BPI weapons. Let's call it BPI weapon wield because the character is the person who is wielding the weapon. So if I put something like a BPI weapon, it sounds like something, some interface that I should implement within the weapon blueprint itself right now that i have renamed it here i'll add another function to uh, equip weapon okay and here equip weapon oh sorry we need to implement it equip weapon like this now uh, I have already imported this animation. This animation is from uh, Ramster's Sword and Shield Pack. So they are sponsoring with some of the animations from the uh, this animation pack. This is a great animation pack. If you should check it out, by the way, I'm gonna use some of the animations from this pack for this action RPG that I'm working on. So. Thanks for providing the animations. I'll leave the link in description below. Okay, so this is the animation that I'm going to use. So let me create an anime montage with this. So here, let me change it to time format. Second, so maybe around 0.5 seconds. I think I should attach the sword to the hand. So here, play any montage and I only have that montage so I can select it and then let me add a simple delay. I don't think we need to set up uh, something like a notifier for this case and then we need to attach the weapon but for now, I at the moment I don't have a weapon preference to the weapon because here I have this collect weapon but I haven't saved it anywhere so let me promote this to a variable I'll call this oh, what should I call this maybe weapon for now because I don't have a secondary weapon or anything we can rename and restore the structure we need later on but just for now i'll call it weapon right get the weapon and attach to component so the component is the mesh and i'm gonna attach to the right hand this is handle and R. Okay, I just wanted to check the name. We can adjust uh, maybe add a different socket to something if we if it does not attach properly. So I'll snap to target, snap to target scale keep relative right and now we have this equip weapon function so we can call it here on the character okay now just to test how this works let me set up a quick uh, Oh yeah, we have num0 input. I uh, can test it with that. So get the ability system. Give ability and activate once. So I'll give equip sword and activate it once. So let's see what happens. Now if I press 0, nothing happens zero in the numpad i'm pressing it now nothing happens because i don't have a sword and i have the tag to check it 
if I collect the sword and press zero see now it equips it works but the animation afterward after at uh, uh, collecting the sword is not correct but that's fine for now because I only want to focus on picking it up part okay now how do we give this ability in a proper way rather than just pointing it directly to a key like this so for that let me just delete this and then um, we need to give this ability when the player pick up the sword that means in this collectible so here this is where the player picks up the sword so after doing that let me yeah let me give ability G A equip sword also to the character right now how do we bind this to an input so here uh, again for testing instead of giving the ability if I do this activate ability my class and here if I select this G equip sword this should work only after here I press in zero nothing happens but after picking it up now it works but that's not the way I want it to bind because uh, we might have different abilities to pick up different maybe different types of swords or different types of weapons later down the line in this project so therefore instead of doing it that way here let's do it this way here we can add a tag as this ability tags so i'll add i'll define a new type of tag here and uh, yeah let's call it input equip yeah and tag to equip ability oh yeah i need to define a source file Okay, I'll do that again. Here, make sure to select default gameplay tags.ini and add it and select it. So now this is the tag associated with this ability. Now in the character blueprint, I can do this. Act way try activate abilities by tag now here I can define that tag like this game input equip weapon right now we haven't we don't have a concrete binding into the exact ability class but instead we have sort of an indirect binding so that we can have we can give multiple different types of uh, equip weapon abilities to the character and no matter what we give this will still be bound to the input so here now let's see picked it up press zero and it works see great now let me just clean this up by adding a proper input rather than keeping this num0 binding here under input protection i a equip weapon maybe i'll call it primary weapon right and we need to add 
this to the IMC default input mapping primary weapon and we need to make a binding I'll make it one key one okay now in the character instead of num0 I'll call it IA primary weapon equip primary weapon great okay picked up press one okay weapon equip okay so the next thing is here once I equip the sword and if I press if I press one I can equip but if I press one again I can again equip which is not something I want to do so what we can do is here now we have the GA equip sword I'll add another gameplay effect and here we can have activation blocked tags so under the block tag I'll put uh, something like this weapons sword equipped oh I forgot to select the target weapons sword equipped right and I'll select that okay now if this tag is present in the actor this should be blocked so for that i'll create a new game play effect ge equip sort and here i'll add uh, the this should be an infinite and let's add a component target text gameplay effect component here we can uh, add this tag so when this effect is applied this weapons dot sword dot equipped uh, tag will be applied to the character let me save this and I select this GE equip sword here as the cost gameplay effect class. Right now, after I pick up the sword, if I press one, I can pick it up, but if I press one again. Uh, nothing happens because I have already equipped the sword okay so that's all I wanted to do for today and thanks for watching so I'm planning to do a lot more on this action RPG with the gameplay ability system series so uh, stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comment and see you in the next episode Goodbye.